He mourned his son, Kendrick Castillo, murdered while protecting classmates during the school shooting in Highlands Ranch. Now, John Castillo is working hard to prevent more tragedies like this one. Castillo has been outspoken since the day of the shooting in May, and tonight he spoke his mind to the Douglas County Commissioners. Our Kelly Worthman on our top story in Castle Rock. Kelly Castillo sharing his ideas as well for making schools safer. And Jim, he says it all starts with using the right labels for tragedies like the one that took his son's life. We need to call it what it is, domestic terrorism. John Castillo is nothing short of outraged over the death of his son, Kendrick, but he's using his pain to fuel his passion for change. They silenced him. But they brought back my voice. John used his voice in front of Douglas County Commissioners as they determine how to use more than $13 million to improve school security. We need to stop this devastation and we can do it. Law enforcement explained they're using some money to add more school resource officers around the district as well as mental health services. But John says that can't be the only focus. We can't hide behind mental health. I support mental health in the right avenue. But it's also a shield for cowards, evil to hide behind. He wants technology to improve, perhaps with an app for kids to alert authorities when there's trouble at school. Just as it did in an RTD incident a few weeks ago, somebody was able to quickly inform law enforcement to act on a situation. John believes meetings like this are a step in the right direction toward positive changes, but he hopes all this talk turns into real action so no other parent has to experience his pain. We've lost him for the rest of our lives and it's devastated us, but it could be somebody else. And I'm asking everybody, get on board so there doesn't have to be another one. Now, tonight's meeting was a special session solely to hear those recommendations. Commissioners say they will hold more meetings, several more meetings, before any final decisions are made. Reporting live in Castle Rock, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First.